Now that whole falling over thing, that's not Matrix Energetics, that's just fun. <laughs> Physics is cool if you make it cool. It's not about the math, it's about the ideas. That's what's really important. And the ideas in the physics are basically simple. When you strip away all the jargon, and you strip away all the math, and you strip away all the rules, which are just reference frames for a certain type of reality, based upon calculations that say, if it's not like this, then my theory's wrong, therefore it is like this. So you're going to learn how to get to this state and then how to recognize it, then how to sustain it, and then how to call it up at will. That's the key. Can you access it at will? Can you reproduce it without trying or needing to do anything in order for it to occur? That goes way beyond any technique. And this is the thing I like about matrix energetics. There are many theories and, and uh, concepts out there about using quantum physics and other aspects that we know of, that science now knows of, that the world around us is essentially made out of energy and information. But matrix energetics gives you the insights that you need, the consciousness technology, if you will, to apply that in your own world and bring about the change that you would like to see. So how many of you are still asking yourself, what is matrix energetics? Okay, good. Keep asking yourself that. We are really hesitant to define what matrix energetics is because the moment we define it, we limit it to showing up to being only that with, with which we have defined it. Matrix energetics has proven to be, for thousands of people, a very, very, very powerful consciousness technology. It's not a technique because there's no one way to do it, and there's no step A, step B, step C, you're going to get step D as a result. It shows up differently for everyone, and we call it a consciousness technology because it interfaces uniquely with the individuals and the information and the patterns of light and information of each individual. We call it a vehicle for transformation because it is not something that we unto ourselves are doing. In other words, we step in together into the morphic field of matrix energetics and we allow for the information to interact differently with us as individuals. Now, I started off uh, as a seminar participant and personally at my first Friday night, I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't follow the information. I thought Richard was going off on these tangents that didn't make any sense. And I wanted to know exactly what I was going to get out of the weekend. There's a, pr a very deliberate process that takes place as the weekend unfolds. We never know exactly how it's going to show up uh, because our presentation is tailored uniquely to all of you that are here. But it shows up in such a way that we accomplish everything at each seminar. You'll all learn how to do the two-point, and you'll be doing the two-point by tomorrow afternoon. We add to the two-point by doing something called time travel, which enables you to travel backwards and forward in time through the field of the heart and through consciousness. We teach you how to access parallel universes or parallel selves. There's really no difference, but to access other aspects of yourself that you've not yet moved into alignment with and pull them into your reality now. We build upon the parallel universes with something that we call archetypes, which is really, um, Richard likes to refer to it as hallucinating out of your skull. Uh, my logical mind likes to refer to it as hemispheric synchronization, where we connect up with the right brain and the left brain, and we learn how to read the language of the right brain, which is symbolic and uh, there's a lot of solutions available to us through that process, it's also incredibly fun. And then we teach you the 21 universal healing frequencies that are thought to govern healing and disease in the human species. All you really need to know how to do with the 21 frequencies is count to 21, they do the work, they're self-intelligent. So we do have a specific curriculum that we present to you throughout the weekend. It might not seem like it's flowing in that particular order because it will go in the 
order that's perfect for you as seminar participants, but just know that there's logic behind all of the seeming craziness that's going to be happening this weekend. I had no idea the depth of this, the, the power of it, and it was, it was mind-blowing. You can expect a lot of love, a lot of laughter, a lot of heart opening. Developing a personal relationship with your own heart field is one of the most powerful personal tools that any of us as individuals have available to us. And it changes the way that we not only communicate with ourselves, but it changes the way that we relate to and communicate with the entire world around us. There you go. See how easy that was? You have to experience it yourself. You have to be there, uh, touch it, play with this. It's not a complicated system. It's simple, it's easy, and it's fun. It's quite remarkable. And this woman literally went doot doot, and I had this wave, this whole like woo wave of energy come through me like I had never felt anything like that in my entire life, and it just blew me away. It was like, wow. I think what happens, I'm not sure, but I think what happens is I think your brain goes to such an altered state, and it reconfigures the hemisphere so much that the so-called conscious experience becomes too limiting for the expansion that's occurring.